Let's explore the world of multicam clips in Final Cut Pro today. We've got some footage from different cameras and we're going to blend them into a single multicam clip. First, we'll gather all the footage we want to include. To do this, just select the first clip, hold down the shift key, and then select the last clip. Now head up to the menu bar and pick File, then New, and finally Multicam Clip. A window will pop up with some options. Here we can name our multicam clip, choose where to store it within the library, and even tweak the starting timecode value if needed. If all the clips have audio, we can let Final Cut Pro automatically sync them using audio waveforms. A little tip, if you clap at the beginning of your recordings, it'll help Final Cut Pro find a clear sync point for all the footage. If you're sure that Final Cut Pro can sync your clips using timecode or metadata, you can uncheck this option to speed things up. If we leave the video and audio settings as they are, Final Cut Pro will handle the rest of the settings for us. So when we're ready, click OK and you'll see a progress bar. Once it's done, our new multicam clip will appear in the browser. Double click to open it in the timeline. Not too shabby, right? But if you want more control over the final result, you can go for Use Custom Settings in the bottom left corner and you'll get more options. Under Angle Assembly, we have four choices. Automatic, Final Cut Pro, sorts the angles based on metadata. Camera Angle, angles are created based on the camera angle property. Camera Name, angles are created based on the camera name property. Clips, separate angles are made for each selected clip. For our example, let's roll with Automatic. Next. The Angle Clip Ordering drop-down lets us decide how angles are arranged within the multicam clip. If you choose Automatic, Final Cut Pro will do its best to arrange the clips within each angle using the most suitable metadata-based method. Timecode orders the clips based on the timecode metadata from the footage. This option is usually the quickest and most accurate, but it does require that your footage has a timecode recorded during filming. Alternatively, you can go for Content Created, where Final Cut Pro arranges the clips using the date and time information recorded in each clip. In our case, let's choose Content Created. But before we move on, show me some love by giving this video a thumbs up. It helps me know if I'm teaching well and helps others discover this video. Thanks. Now, let's talk about angle synchronization, which allows us to choose how angles are synced automatic based on available metadata. Time code using time code recorded in the clips. Content created using date and time information. Start of first clip using the first frame in each angle. First marker on the angle using markers you've placed on each clip. Once again, time code is often the top choice, but for this exercise, let's go with content created. Further down, you can tweak the video and audio settings for the multicam clip if necessary, or you can leave them the same as your project. Once you're satisfied, hit OK and voila, your multicam clip is created. You'll spot the multicam icon in the top left of its thumbnail, looking like four panels. Give it a double click in the browser to see the result. As you can see, the audio and video are perfectly synced, and there you have it. You've mastered the art of creating a multicam clip in Final Cut Pro with ease. Now, if you're eager to learn more, let's dive into how to export master files in Final Cut Pro. I'll guide you through the steps to export your video in the best format possible using Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.